Let me remind you, this is not a simple demand concert. This is a motherfucking metal show. Let me ask you again. But like I said before, we're really lucky to have found each other because it's one of the hardest things is to find four guys on the same page, same passions in life, and uh, equally as talented at their individual art as one another. So, very fortunate. I've never been in a band where everything clicks. You know, it definitely feels like okay, this is what this is what we're doing. You know, we have nothing else except for this band. It's the music. It's the friendship. There's nothing that I do that is more important. There's nothing I feel more passionate about. It's pretty much what I want to do for the rest of my life. So burning the day is my life. That's what it means to me. Hopefully we can be one of those bands to uh, step it up and really represent for our country and uh, really show the world what Canadian metal is uh, all about without grabbing onto anybody's coattails and trying to do it for ourselves, but still always paying homage to the people who came before us and who make all this possible. You know, we're a diverse band, man. We got strong bass playing, great rhythm section, strong metal drumming, um, almost a solo in every song on the new record. I don't think you could say we sound exactly like any other band. Stay tight. Uh, you know, I gotta just play together a lot. For this record, I study drummers, you know, like Vinny Paul and Chris Adler, and uh, you know, just learn from them. You know, vocals are always the first thing that people hear. And it's always the first thing people judge. So it's really important for us to have a unique standpoint when it comes to the vocals. Of it. Well, I want to bring, you know, creative aspect to it technical ability and uh, you know I want to motivate the other guys to feel the same way. Uh, what do I have to do to play with him? Not a hell of a lot. Just try to not screw up my own. With all these complicated riffs it makes other music just seem so simple and you know uh, boring. It's kind of ruined music for me in a way I guess you could say. We put like 40-50 hours a week into the band you know we treat it like a business. Uh, having a guy like Chris to have that leadership to take us where we want to go. That lead singer of that band that actually gets somewhere. Positive attitude is, is probably one of the, the best things we got going. And it's probably one of the, the best experiences of my life, sharing a stage with those guys. We do believe in what we play, and if kids can connect with that and it can help them, then uh, we've definitely accomplished something positive.